Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a polynomial equation. We have x squared plus x plus 2 multiplied by x squared plus 2x plus 2, and that is equal to 2x squared. Now, if you distribute the left-hand side, uh, we're going to get a quartic, and we can try to solve it, but again, there are some complications. So, this equation is somewhat special. Sometimes people are asking me, like, what if this method cannot be used? Well, in that case, it can't be solved, I guess, in that method, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and proceed. So first of all, notice one thing here, and these equations are typical. Uh, we have x squared, and then uh, the constant terms are the same in both quadratic. Have you noticed that? So that's kind of nice uh, to have. And plus, we have x squared on the right-hand side. So this gives us a really nice opportunity to simplify this equation and put it in a special form. I mean, otherwise, it wouldn't work. That's it. Okay. So how does that work? Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to be dividing both sides by x squared. Okay. Now, what is so good about that? Like, how does that help, right? Okay. Well, on the right-hand side, first of all, think about it. You'll get a constant, right? But the left-hand side looks messier. So how do we do that in a meaningful way, like more meaningfully? So uh, what we can do is we can actually split up the x squared into x times x. This is the trick, basically, right? And if you do it, something nice is going to happen. Obviously, on the right-hand side, we have 2. And notice that x equals 0 is not a solution. Otherwise, we could not do this, right? We can't just divide by x because we have to guarantee that x equals 0 is not a solution. And it's not. So this works. Nice. Now, after this, uh, and the reason, of course, there's a reason why we split up the x and divide like that. Because, let's divide everything by x here. We're going to get x plus 1 plus 2 over x. And the other expression is going to give us x plus 2 plus 2 over x. And the product is equal to 2. Nice. Hopefully, you got the method by now, but let's continue. What am I going to do next? Okay, I'm going to use a very powerful method in mathematics. What is it called? Substitution. All right. So at this point, what I'm going to do is, since I have the x plus 2 over x, twice, I can call it something. So I can say, hey, I want x plus 2 over x to be u. Okay. All right, cool. That's why we've done these things. And that's why it works. That's why uh, it worked, because we have the same constant term here, even though we have different x's here, and we have an x squared. So I guess we can generalize this uh, as well. Uh, maybe we can talk about that some other time. But let's go ahead and finish this up. So after calling the x plus 2 over x u, then u should be getting u plus 1 multiplied by u plus 2 is equal to 2. Awesome. Now, at this point, you might be thinking like, okay, I can find the solutions. Let's just distribute and use the quadratic. u squared minus, as you know, this is going to be a 3u plus 2 equals 2. Wow, that's amazing because even the constants cancel out. This is like super simple, right? Okay, awesome. Now, all I have to do is factor out the u here and you got the solutions. So one of the solutions is going to be u equals 0 and the other one is going to be u equals negative 3. But what is u? u is, and that's grammatically correct, right? u is x plus 2 over x. So what I'm going to do is I am going to set x plus 2 over x equal to 0, like this, okay? From here, I can just go ahead and multiply both sides by x because I have a 0 on the left-hand side, so it doesn't really matter. But this is going to give me x squared plus 2 equals 0, because that's 0. When you multiply both sides by x, it becomes 0. And notice that x cannot be 0, because we know it's not a solution. Okay, cool. Well, here, we don't really get any real solutions. If you're curious about the complex solutions, then you're going to be getting x squared equals negative 2, x equals the square root of negative 2, which can be written as plus minus root 2i. Okay, fine. They are complex solutions, but we're interested in real solutions. So let's go for the real. Are there real solutions? Let's find out. So my next solution is going to be x plus 2 over x equals negative 3. 
Now we can multiply both sides by x again, and that should give me x squared plus 2 is equal to negative 3x. Let's put everything on the same side to make our trinomial more manageable and also factorable because this is factorable as you know as you can see here x minus 1 and x minus 2 and from here we get two possible values which are x equals 1 and x equals 2. Now are those valid solutions? You may want to just go back and check with the original problem because in the original problem well there are no issues right because we don't really have we didn't do anything problematic uh, there's no there's no radicals this is all polynomial so it should work and we know that x does not equal zero right so x equals one and x equals two are valid solutions and they are real all right that's it for this video thank you for watching please comment like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video which is going to be a geometry puzzle have a good one bye bye